The Song. It's a new film which hit theaters nationwide over the weekend. It's unique, combining ancient wisdom with a classic love triangle. Also considered the most provocative film in Hollywood's Year of the Bible. Two of the stars join us now, Alan Powell and Ali Faulkner. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, thanks for being here this morning. I want to talk about Jed King. Who is Jed King and, and what's his story here? Jed King is the son of David King, who was a very famous, prolific um, country artist. Uh, it's a modern day telling of the life of Solomon. Jed King is the Solomon character. He falls in love with Rose Jordan, writes a song for her that propels him to stardom, and then deals with all the things that come with the distractions of life when he ought to be prioritizing his family. So that's essentially what the story is about. And what it's about, yeah. Why did you guys, both of you, uh, I guess, whichever wants to take this question, maybe both of you, wh why did you want to be a part of this film, though? Um, I thought the story was incredibly written. Richard Ramsey, the writer and director, he was just, uh, he really told, in my opinion, a wonderful story. And from day one, when I read it the first time, I thought it was incredible. And every time I read wow. it, um, something new spoke That's to really me. Nice. In fact, we shot this yeah. original principal photography oh. two years ago. And sometimes I'll even think back now, having lived a couple more years on a few lines that my character says, and, and they even resonate with me deeper just from living more so yeah. it's um to me it was just a really really special story a meaningful story and very inspiring so but what makes it special and i guess what do you want people to walk away with after they see the song well i'll let you start. well I've heard, I've heard a couple of times as we've we showed some screeners and whatnot to some people there's i've heard a couple of stories people have come up to me and say listen as soon as i saw the film i, I had to walk away and and call my wife or call my husband or call my kids and just let them know that I love them. Uh, and for us, I think that's why we set out to make this movie, was just to make people aware of how precious our family is and what a gift that is. So uh, I think hopefully when people watch this film, they'll be reminded of that to the extent that they want to make their husband or wife or, or children, for that matter, feel uh, more loved and love them more deeply. Yeah, and I guess the soundtrack, from what I understand, it's, it's pretty incredible. Who's on the soundtrack? I guess some of Nashville's best. Who, who, who are we talking about here? Yeah, Ricky Skaggs is on there, Emmylou Harris, Roger McGuinn, some very, very cool uh, people. It was really just an honor to be a part of the soundtrack with them. Eleven original songs. Uh, we're excited about the music, and we think people really enjoy it as well. Yeah, did you guys have to sing much in this song or in this movie, or how, how did that go? I, I had to sing a whole lot uh, in this song. All of the songs that Jed sings in the film, uh, I actually sang. Um, so that was, you know, it was fun. It's not the kind of music that I typically do, so it was fun to stretch myself and learn a new genre and kind of really engulf myself and guys like Hank Williams and Johnny Cash yeah. to kind of get the character and bring the character out. Was it tough to do? Was it tough to learn that new genre of country music? I would say it's the most difficult thing that I, I had to do as, as a part of this project because, again, it's not really how I grew up and it's not my voice originally, but it was really fun and a cool challenge to attempt to kind of make that transition. Yeah, Ali, how do you do? You can be honest here. Did you do a good job? <laughs> Please, be honest. Be honest. <laughs> yeah, um, I have to be honest with you. He did amazing. He really did. Um, he and bo and both he and Caitlin Nichol Thomas, they bring the music to life, and it's just incredible. A lot of people are saying that they're surprised that's not his actual genre, uh, typical genre that he normally does. So um, they say it really has an authentic feel, and that's definitely what they were going for. So I think that they, they've succeeded, and I feel that the music really, really just propels the story and it's kind of become a character of its own and really um, has, makes certain points in the film resonate even deeper. So. Yeah, I've heard great things about the movie. Uh, both of you, the characters that you guys play, I've heard great things about that as well. The song is in theaters now. And Alan and Allie, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Pleasure is mine. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. you betcha. Mary, over to you.